the theme of making a difference the four will showcase programs run by the Royal Foundation, including Heads Together, the Invictus Games and United for Wildlife. On Wednesday, February 28, it is the second time the foursome will be seen in public after they were pictured together during a Sandringham church outing on Christmas Day. The Royals will appear on stage to tell listeners why the Royal Foundation was set up, the projects they are currently working on, and their ambitions for the future, according to Kensington Palace. As the Queen arrived at Sandringham on Christmas Day, Meghan Markle and Kate, both 36, showed their respect by curtsying as the monarch stepped out of the car. After the outing, the couples returned to Sandringham for Christmas dinner with the Queen. Meghan is set to become the fourth patron of the Royal Foundation when she ties the knot with Prince Harry in May. Launched in 2011, the Royal Foundation was founded by Kate, William and Harry to pursue their charitable interests. The forum will be hosted by BBC presenter and Radio 1 newsreader Tina Dehealy and the audience made up of invited guests, supporters of the Royal Foundation, program partners and beneficiaries. William is expected to be Harry's best man at his Windsor wedding and royal watchers will be keen to see the interaction between Kate and Meghan at their first appearance on official duties together. William and Kate expressed their delight at the news of Harry's engagement last year. We are very excited for Harry and Meghan. It has been wonderful getting to know Meghan and to see how happy she and Harry are together, they said. It comes after it was reported that the Duchess of Cambridge is said to be supporting Meghan as she experiences some nervousness about her transition into married life. A source said, Meghan may appear confident when on royal walkabouts, but she does have some pre-wedding butterflies, not about Harry, but about her new life, said a source. What's more, as Meghan cannot often go out in public without getting noticed, it is said Kate and Prince William's home in Kensington Palace of Grounds, where both royal couples live, is often where she goes. K.P. Kensington Palace is beautiful, but when Meghan wakes up she has nowhere to go, really, the source explained to Mail on Sunday, she can't potter about on the high street, attend gym classes or jog around Hyde Park, instead she is confined to yoga at home or visits to Kate and William in apartment 1A.